Good morning, Pause Runners. My name is Reed. It's Thursday, May 25th, 2023, and Station FLPS welcomes you to another great day of learning. Gwen, Jordan, and I are happy to bring the news. We are from Mrs. Stovisak's third grade class. Let's start our morning by honoring our flag of our great United States. We'll take a moment to recite the Pledge of Allegiance together. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please, to, please return to your seats. Now here's more jo from Jordan to share. Here's Jordan to share more. Good morning, everyone. Let's let's see that what Mother Nature will send send our way today. We can expect sunny sunny skies today and a high a temperature of 80 degrees. If you are buying t a hot lunch today, ca uh, the cafeteria will be will be happy to uh, to serve you uh, either walking taco or chicken patty. Now, please welcome Gwen. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jordan. Now for the Bulldog Best winners. Hi, good morning from Felix and I. Happy Thursday. I know that the morning show is going to be pretty long, so we are going to be quick. Felix, could you please hand me the first names to read? His arms are a little short. I have to help him out. I have, ooh, this was a good one to start with. These are the winners of the Bulldog Bucks for today. In first grade, I have Adam from Miss Doherty's class for being kind. In Mrs. Burke's class, Delta. It says that a help. She helped a friend when she got hurt. Love to hear that. In second grade, I have Addie from Mrs. Stotz's class. She cleaned up at recess. And then in Mrs. Seeker's class, I have Ethan. Ethan went above and beyond. That's, we like to hear that. Um, in third grade, in Mrs. Petro's class, I have Michael. Michael was following rules in library. And also in Miss Mendocino's class, I have Eliana. Eliana was being quiet in the hall and walking safely in line. Very good, congratulations. Let's see if we can get these arms, yay. Now, for our next list here, must be our Bulldog Best winners. Let me see this. Yep, that's what it looks like. For second grade, in Mrs. Herman's class, I have Evelyn. Mrs. Stotz's class, Frank. In Miss Chichester's class, Dylan and Yusuf. In Mrs. Seeker's class, Kurthika. In Mrs. Malati's class, Vinny. In Mrs. Tamura's class, Alex. In Mrs. Wallow's class, Archer. In Mrs. Gommel's class, Andrew. In Mrs. Hoy's class, Camille. And in Mrs. Vormelker's class, Burton. Now, I also note, Ms. Mr. Felix here noticed there's a first grade name that was left off the list. In Mrs. Rivera's class, I have Ember Joe. Congratulations to all of you. We are so happy for you. Oh, actually, look at, what's this? Oh, Felix is feeling pretty happy too. We hope you have a really great day. Okay, thought it was a buffalo, but it appears to have some spikes up in here. Don't, these could be nostrils. Oh, our visitors are back. Welcome to the Booster Ranger Station. Ranger Johnny here. And Ranger Sarah here. Oh, today I have the most supreme blockbuster piece of gear yet. Oh my word, what is it? is blockbuster breaking. Yeah, it is blockbuster breaking, isn't it? Oh, and speaking of blockbuster, we have 
another Grandland Adventure video. I can't believe Grandpa worked at Everglades National Park. No wonder he loved alligators so much. I expect there's a lot about your grandpa you don't know. He was a bit of a legend, you know? All right, let's see what character trait Grandpa learned in the Everglades. Long ago, a free-flowing river wound across South Florida 50 miles wide and one foot deep. Today, a vast network of wetlands and forests form a delicate ecosystem that's teeming with life. Welcome to Everglades National Park, the largest subtropical ecosystem in America and the third largest park in the lower 48. With over 1.5 million acres of wilderness, the Everglades is home to 400 species of birds, 50 varieties of reptiles, dozens of mammals, and countless fish and insects. For centuries, this region of South Florida was inhabited by Native American tribes like the Tequesta and the Calusa. As the area became more settled by early Americans, plans arose in 1882 to drain the wetlands and develop the land for agricultural and residential use. Thankfully, the park was established in 1934 to protect the quickly vanishing Everglades. One of the things that makes the Everglades so unique is that it's home to many rare and endangered species like the elusive Florida panther and the West Indian manatee. Do you know the manatee's weight is measured by the ton? No wonder they're sometimes called sea cows. One of the best ways to explore the Everglades is by airboat. On an airboat tour, you might see ospreys, bottlenose dolphins, lemon sharks, and of course, lots of alligators. And don't forget, the Everglades is the only place in the U.S. where you can find the American crocodile. Whether you're taking in the sawgrass marsh from the observation tower in Shark Valley, are taking photos of wildlife along the famous Anhinga Boardwalk Trail, you can't help but feel a desire to steward this land well. So, what do you think, kiddos? What character trait do you think the Everglades have to teach us? Never go swimming in a swamp? <laughs> Grandpa said the park stirs you to action to protect the land and ensure it thrives for generations. That sounds like stewardship. What's that? Stewardship is all about caring for what's been given to us. Right, Grandma? Precisely. Whether it's the natural environment or our time or talents or resources, stewardship is about cultivating, managing, and, and preserving what's been entrusted to us. But how do you live with stewardship? It starts with being aware of what's been given to you. And then ask yourself, how can I use these gifts and resources to serve others? So the Everglades taught Grandpa how to live with stewardship? Makes sense. Did you guys hear that? The puzzle box moved. And it's glowing. Again. Another step closer to finding that treasure. I wonder what park we get to visit next. Stewardship, protecting what's been given to you. You know, that is why, is why I love being a park ranger. Me too. We get to protect this land every day. Every day, Ranger John. You know, before we do our next job, we should do the cheer one more time with our adventurers. What do you think? Yes, let's do it. All right, everyone, on the count of three. One, two, three. Grand Land Adventure. All right, what's up next for the day, Johnny? Let's see. Picking up trash. Stewardship. Adventurers, you can also practice stewardship where you are. If you see some trash on the ground at your school, why don't you pick it up and throw it away? You can protect what's been given to you too. Well, farewell adventurers.
If you heard your name announced, please report to the front lobby immediately after the morning show. That's our news for today. Have a terrific Thursday, everyone, and let's, let's go, go Falls!